Welcome to another Let's Play. This is MBW Champion. Today we're going to play the game Super Mario Brothers, which is a very classic game. I'm playing it on the Mario All-Stars version, which uh, also came out on the Wii, so if you guys uh, haven't played this game or any of the, like, Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Lost Levels, or the best one, Part 3, Super Mario Brothers 3, then try that out. So. Go ahead and jump into this, and uh, this is going to be a great let's play. Alright. I don't know what that is, but uh, let's see if he wants help. What the hell? Okay. Um, that was weird. Uh, let's see if we could... No? Okay, how the hell do you get past this guy? What in the world? Okay, this game is a little bit harder than I than I thought. Wow. Well then, um, I'm not sure. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, I don't know if any of you guys got that joke. Um, I'm gonna link you guys to a to a video. Of uh, the fantastic um, duo of Jet and uh, Chet and Chase. I mean Ace. I'm sorry. I, don't, I just woke up. So. <laughs> um, from Awesome Video Games. If you guys haven't heard of Awesome Video Games, I'm gonna have a link um, after the video so you guys can check it out. It's they did that. Like basically, uh, they do reviews on games. Um, NES games, and they make it look like it's from the 80s, or like, uh, nine, or like early 90s, 80s, and it's just like a great show all around, so. <laughs> but anyways, they do like video, it's like, a, it's kind of like they, uh, spoof video games and everything, and they play them, and, uh, and, uh, through the first episode, they just couldn't get past the Goomba. And on the second episode, they were like, hey, we found out that there's an A button, and it makes you jump. So when you get over here, you can jump. Yeah! It's like, so ridiculous. Anyways, through this Let's Play, I'm gonna... I don't know if I should do it fast, or... Nah, I think I'll, I'll play the game all the way through, because... Usually I jump, um, I go through this warp, and then I go on the level, uh, 4-2's warp. Oh. Why didn't I didn't mean to do that. And then I usually go to, uh, yeah, that warp, and then it takes you straight to the 8th world, and so... So this let's play would be, like, really quick, but I'm just gonna let it last a little bit longer. So I'm gonna try to go through all the levels, cause I don't. It's been all right. So apparently I need to time these jumps a lot better. <laughs> wow, I died. Okay, you have to run, Michael. Forgot my Mario has to like, just like in real life, you start off. And then you get to go faster. Again, I'm not trying to get the warp, so... Don't say I failed. Yeah. I get fireworks. I'm awesome. Coins. Kring, kring, kring. So 
this game is, you know, just a little bit of history of this game. This game came out in 1985 on the with the release of the NES, and this is basically a game that, man, I'm like so, like I need to get used to these controls. <laughs> I'm used to, uh, to like Mario World or something. That you can like go back and forth, but <laughs> anyways, as you can tell, I've been playing a. Uh... I haven't been playing Mario World, but um, I just downloaded this program called Lunar Magic, and as you guys know, I made a game like called Hero of Dreams, and and I always wanted to make a Mario game, so I downloaded this this thing called uh, Lunar Magic, where you get to make a Mario World, and I just been. Uh, messing around with, with with the thing right now. So uh, maybe one day I'll make a game. I haven't planned anything out yet, so... So, um... I don't think a game's gonna come out anytime soon. But I'll let you guys know when I do. Aw, oh, damn it. Keep it for game, dude. The controls for Mario are a little bit weird. <laughs> oh, that didn't last too long. Oh. Save the print. Oh, what? What? Oh, it's just a toad. Well then. <laughs> um, I, was, I think I was saying something, but I forgot what I was talking about. Right there. <laughs> but, uh, Oh shit, I don't want to hit those guys anyways. Oh fuck! That's what I didn't want to do. I thought there was something right here. I remember there was something... Oh fuck! I was trying to jump on it. So I could see if there's more... ...things. But I failed. And died. useless, I guess. <laughs> I thought, th I swear, I thought there was something right there. Um, I thought I jumped. <laughs> Koombas. I swear to God. You fucking Zumbas. Zumbas? Did I just call them Zumbas? some lag. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. Ugh. No! <laughs> Grab it! I feel like my controller's not responding. But I'm not gonna blame it on the controller. It's me that sucks. Apparently. Uh-uh. <laughs> Woo! All 
Alright, so I completed 2-1, and um, I'm very happy about it. I'm gonna name my first kid 2-1 in memory of beating that level. <laughs> He'll probably hate me for life, but it's okay. Woo! I remember uh, games back games back then um, um, that were made back, you know, at this time. They're so used to like arcades were basically where games were played. So it wasn't very it was it wasn't natural for people to play games on their television. It was like it was a new thing. So basically games that came out were um, were just like uh, arcade games. If you notice on the upper left, they have uh, the, the point system. The reason why they have the point system is because in arcades, uh, the way that they got a lot of people back to the arcade games is basically they, they had a thing called high score, and basically you always try to, to get the highest score. And, um, and then it would be on the arcade system, and then you'd be like, Yeah, see that? Number three right there. Or number one. Who can beat me? What's up? And then basically, um, people try their damnedest and keep on playing so they could try to beat the high score. That's how they made money on the on their arcade games. But when they put them on the NES... Um... Well, fuck you. I don't know where I am anymore. Oh, there I am. Um, <laughs> so when they put them on the on the NES and, and uh, you know, Atari and all those, um, they included the high scores. The only thing that's weird about it is it's really only you that's playing your, your system. <laughs> like, it's not other people playing, um, you know, well, people that come over, I guess, could, you could, like, try to do high scores, but it's basically the end of the, you know, like, high score stuff. Nobody goes on this game like Mario, Super Mario Brothers, and goes, yeah, I got the highest score after I completed the game. It was awesome. Like, nobody does that anymore. And, you know, they continue to do that with, you know, Battletoads and, and other levels, and it just, again, it wasn't the same. <laughs> like, like, um, like, you know, all companies, they're just so used to putting, um, high scores and stuff, and then when, you know, you kill bad guys, and, or get coins, and you get points for doing it, like, it's like, see, I get a thousand points for the firepower, they're just so used to that, and, uh, you know, s you rarely see that nowadays, because nobody gives a hoot about, oh, crap, it's lagging, but crap, oh, that was a good thing I didn't jump yet, <laughs> Um, so, I forgot what I was saying now, um, hopefully it wasn't important. Aw, oh, man. Let me be a little bit more careful. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Thank you, Mario! But your princess is in another castle! You sound like a girl, Toad. Man. <laughs> Alright, so this is where I'm going to stop. And, uh, so I'll just press right here. And, uh, uh, thank you for watching this MBW Champion Let's Play. I'm going to be, uh, um, playing the third world next time. And, uh, you know, pl uh, please check out the video.